What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Undead Unlock episode 13. It's called Tatiana. Let's jump straight into this. If you like Undead Unlock, smash that like button. Consider subscribing to my anime reaction videos and hit the notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's jump straight into this. Let's go. Birthday Happy you. birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh, Tatiana's birthday. Oh, wait. What is this Tatiana's backstory? Miss Gina. Must be her, right? Wow, what is that? A, a coffin in her hand? Fuko Izuma. Wait, what? Wait, what is going on here? Wait, I'm so confused. Was... She was holding a coffin of Fuko. Or a coffin that had Fuko's name on it. But then... She's actually inside of that robotic ball, essentially. Crazy. So we're going to get Tatiana's backstory now. Very interesting. Oh, yes. And Chikara, he showed some good ability. Unmoved. That was pretty cool. Because he can stop anything. But man, why was she holding a coffin with Fuko's name on it? Oh, they're still fighting. Oh. This is just before, actually. Because this is the last time we saw her. She was like, I'll deal with these two. So this is what we never saw. Okay, so here we have it. This is now what was happening when Tatiana went to go fight these two. His name was like Feng, but like I keep saying, he reminds me of Shen. Like a doppelganger or something. Oh, and this is the guy that Andy was saying he doesn't even have ammo, but he's using that. But he's like able to use the machine gun. Oh, wow. Armor. So, oh, so she is inside there. That's crazy. Man, so they actually have to kill him. やめるんだ、たちやね。あ、さあ、死なうとも殺した。ああ。だがメンバー内での喧嘩は厳禁だぞ。やめなさい。うん。なんか熱いな。ごめんなさい、ボス。私、ビリーとも殺したくない。参った
Until the worst. <laughs> Compulsory. UA release. Oh my gosh, it acts as a restraint to control her ability. Wow. So she's that strong. So is that thing around her, that armor, is that an artifact as well? An artifact. Compulsory release of... I keep missing that word. <laughs> It's like AT, you, you, AU. I'm the one who killed Miss Gina. What? She's actually able to control it. Crazy. So what? She's able to move freely in and out of the, the suit or how does it work? When we're free of our negator powers and have normal bodies. So she's basically like a nuclear bomb that's protecting and they're basically protecting the earth by having it inside of that thing. Oh, because remember, you need like five floors in between them. Something like that. That's why they said get down to the fourth floor. If I remember correctly, but if she does it on this floor and they on the top floor, then they won't get hurt. Oh, it is the UT area. Boom. Tatiana. Creed and Feng. He'll probably just leave them. Unrepair or rip. Doesn't really seem like someone who cares. Like there's so many UMAs out there that he can convert and convince. Oh, some type of poison. Kills anybody in three minutes, but it takes her three minutes to release that thing, if I'm not mistaken. It's a self targeting compulsory activation type. Oh, so she's from Russia. Oh, the ability transferred to her. Oh my gosh, and she killed her parents. Because remember what they say, if like a UMA dies, their power just gets transferred to someone else. The Mafia captured her. Now, is this the same Mafia for the auction? Oh my gosh. Scumbags. Who negates the touch of anything. Ornamental piece. Oh, it's him. Oh, so he's blind. Okay, 
下にも分かったじゃあ口を開けて<笑>じゃーんスイーツ好きの僕監修ロングケーキバーロングケーキバー<笑>Untouchable. Oh, my God. Oh, Bro, OP. Look at Chikara. <laughs> Oh, yeah, she can divert attacks and stuff. What? How? Oh my gosh. I swear, every single time I watch this show, it's almost like it just flies by. But yeah, I mean, the same thing happened, was it last week or the week before? I was watching, and then all of a sudden, the show just ends. And I'm like, what? It hasn't, it's barely been 10 minutes. But it just, it, it is just very interesting in that sense. But now we see the backstory of Tatiana. And I, obviously, I've been wondering why she was inside of that ball thing the whole time. I actually personally thought that she was. Was that ball you know it was like a robot or something that had maybe the spirit of someone in there but now we see that i mean obviously her start is terrible born in russia and you know on her fifth birthday that's when the ability was transferred to her and you know it killed both her parents destroyed the house then gets kidnapped by the the mafia and gets taken to one of those disgusting auctions where they just sell them and they were talking about she's untouched but she can be used as like an ornamental piece like crazy stuff and so there was kind of that redemption i think his, his name is billy when he came there and he just killed every single person in but it's interesting like he wiped out all those people but yet you know years later what do you see it's the same thing happening you know it's like you kill five cockroaches another one survives next thing you have 20 cockroaches but her and then Another thing that they were saying is that every year her barrier around her because that barrier is what makes her Untouchable and anything that touches that gets you know wiped away because it, it just keeps growing and growing and growing They have to contain it, but because they're containing it. There's all this pressure on it So that's why you see that I think it was called an AT uh I can't even remember voluntary release or something like that where it's all that pressure that's on top of the barrier that just gets released so when she gets out of control it can become a disaster or used as a weapon and so that's what happened when she was like fighting Andy in that training room essentially she lost control because she just realized oh I could have killed Fuko you know and then yeah so because the end of the last episode we saw her go fight those other guys but then it, it sort of ended there we never saw what happened to her after that but now we see that she released that U A U T or whatever it is i'll probably have to look back and see what that is but she ends up releasing that and right and then it kind of ends there but i'm interested to know like why was she holding that coffin of fuko while she was looking at gina's body when right now fuko is literally in trouble and they have to kill unrepair in order for her to live so you know that's the that would be the concern right now like does she end up dying or that would be crazy but anyways we're gonna have to wait till next week if you like undead unlocked smash that like button consider subscribing to my anime reaction videos and hit the notification bell because i'm releasing every single day of the week i'm gonna leave the last episode right up over here thanks for watching if you're watching that's gonna be it for me i'm out Peace in a bit.